Well, I'm uh, actually a hybrid child of three different cultures. Um, I was brought up in India and the US and in the UK. So actually, I think I've spent equal amounts of time in all three countries. Uh, and I, I think one of the things about sociology and a critical sociology is that we want students to have the tools to make sense of these things, you know, to really grapple with what does it mean when we say something is structural? What do we mean when we say there's a historical legacy, you know, say of slavery and, you know, what does it mean when we talk about social movements? How do these occur? Why do they occur when they do? Why do some of them leave effects and others don't leave such strong lasting effects? These are the questions I think that actually everyone should be asking, but what we can do in, in sociology is to offer the tools to do sustained and deep research into these questions. And students have really appreciated that. You know, they really felt that sociology has become more than ever a place where they can have a really free and frank discussion about the intersections between racism, sexism, class oppression, and you know, as a result of that, we've had so many productive and really, really powerful moving sessions and workshops.